A quick interesting feature add-on that you can add to your Elementor page builder experience. And I discussed this with one of the subscribers, I think about a week or two ago, John Boyd, when he had asked me if I ever used this. And actually this extension I have used before, but on the websites that I'm showing you on the tutorials, I do not use it just to show you the normal way of doing it. Because maybe when I show you my extensions that I like to use, you'll be confused like, hey, your product doesn't look like mine. But let me show you what I'm talking about. And this is actually actually a very nice feature if you need a little bit more space or if you don't like the layout of these widgets on the left. So this panel here is very typical and you know how it works. You go through basic, you've got your general and then WordPress. And these are all the widgets that you get within this panel for the free one. If you buy the pro, of course, you're going to get more. And then like me, if you've got all these other add-ons that I have, it's going to become like a real jungle in here. I, I have a few issues with it. I probably have to be honest, I don't like the light version. I I prefer darker skins. And you know, that's why maybe other page builders sometimes give you more than one option. Also, I think it's too much. And in the end, you basically have to learn how to start searching, searching for things like if I type in video, you have to start learning the names and just search there. This becomes kind of redundant after a while because you have over a hundred plus widgets here in the left panel. It doesn't make sense to scroll all through of them. So let me show you what we can do with this add-on that is called Flexible Elementor Panel. And first we have to go install it, go into WordPress, then go to plugins and choose add new. And then from here, we're going to look for flexible, my flexible friend, flexible Elementor Panel. Right, and here we go, flexible Elementor panel, and all I'm going to say is install it, and then the normal process after you have installed it, you are going to activate it. Activate. And let's begin the process. Nothing is going to happen on the front end. You'll only see that it is here. Flexible Elementor panel is now in your plugins. But let's go over here and let's go have a look at what has happened in the Elementor panel. I'm going to refresh this page so we can load all of that in. It may look like nothing has changed, but if you know the panel very well, you will notice two things here. First, you will notice this little up and down arrow. And then secondly, you will notice this little exit sign here at the bottom. And I will tell you more about that soon. This one is going to collapse your panel like this. I've not really found a use for this, but maybe you may find this interesting. Then you can collapse the panel as you please. But let's go into the settings now to see where this add-on extension truly shines and where I like it. Go to settings and then FEP settings. And the first one that some people may enjoy is this one called draggable panel. Click that on. I'm not a big draggable panel. I like it being docked, though I would have loved it to be docked on the right. You know, it's strange. Some page builders dock them on the right, some dock them on the left, but none of them give you the option either left or right. Right, so let's drag it around. And that's what happens. You get your full page and now you can collapse it and expand it and drag it around. You can dock it on the right, but it's not the same as docking on the left because your view didn't change. See, it did not fit in. Whereas if you dock it on the left, that's what happens. It shrinks. So that is the nice feature if you do like dragging it around and you want to place it somewhere else. Actually, you know, as I'm sitting here, I think not too bad, but I like to have a consistent workflow. So I just usually keep it here on the left and let's expand it again all the way. If it does this, all you need to do is click on it again and it will stretch all the way to the bottom. You can also drag it out now and make it bigger. So if you've got a really big screen like I have, you can make it big. And if you click on the widgets, Oh boy, your widgets have been dragged out. And that brings us to the next feature, which is FEP settings, use flex grid for widgets, going to activate it. And now you will see what will happen to my widgets. They got smaller and they fit in here nicely. That is a real nice feature. If you have the real estate and if you have the space on your screen, you can do that. I personally prefer the smaller widgets. I think the standard widget that comes in with Elementor is just way too big, but I guess, you know, we have to make sure everybody can read it. And normally you can collapse that, but that's also part of the normal editor. 
All right, let me just drag it out a little bit more so we can play around. Let's go back to the settings. Next one up here is minimize all categories with a right click. So let's click that one on, go to the beginning. And now you see all these categories have been minimized. If I click on them, right click, they all open up, right click, they all close. That is also very useful. One of the most useful things of this extension that I really like is that sometimes you just want to go to one category, but now all of them are open. You have to scroll all the way down, right click, and they all collapse. More settings, uh, editor skins. Oh, I like this one, dark pink. This is the one that when I'm working on a website privately, I'll be using this skin because I like darker skins and it displays very well on the front end as well. I prefer this much over the lighter version, but I do know, yeah, different strokes for different folks. Let's have a look at the other skin, which brings in a orange color, which is also one that I jump around with. I'm never satisfied with the same old thing. Then the exit button options. Now this is the exit button here. If you click on this, you can either go back to your page edit, your page front, page list, admin dashboard or the Elementor library. Now, if I click on it, it will exit this page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle this one on, open a new tab. Now, what will happen if I say page edit and I click here on this one, it's gonna open a new page with my page edit. Let's switch it around and we say page front. Now it's basically just a preview. Let's click on it. And there we have the preview. Let's choose page list. And now it will take us to all our pages. And well, so you can go on admin dashboard and exit. I like this feature. I like that it is included here. I always leave it on this so it can automatically open a new tab and open those pages. The last one is this first tab closed for the accordion widget. Very interesting that they've added this in it. So let's go and grab that accordion widget. And then I drag it just over in here. Uh, there we drop it and you can see very lightly that we have the accordion one and then the accordion two. Now what is going to happen if I bring this in and I go and view it on my front end is that that accordion is going to open like this, the first tab of the accordion. Maybe you want all of them closed. So they've added this feature, which I really find very interesting because there's actually a lot of these little extra things that we would like for all kinds of widgets and they've added it for this one. I wish they would bring in some more. So when you enable this one, first tab closed, and now you go and preview it, you will see that the accordion will open with both of them closed. Let me do that again. Let's update it first. And then let's go to preview one more time. And there you go. It comes in both of them closed. Very nifty, right? And that is the flexible Elementor panel. Nice skins, extension, make your widgets a little bit smaller and gave you some extra functionality if you are into that. This is JB here with Websites for Beginners.